You wake up one morning, reach for your phone, and it's gone. Not stolen, just gone. The plastic case, the internal components, everything plastic has vanished. You jump out of bed and rush to the bathroom, but your toothbrush has disappeared too. Looking around your house, you realize something impossible has happened. Every single piece of plastic has vanished without a trace. And it's not just happening to you. All across the world, plastic has mysteriously disappeared. In those first few minutes, millions of people would find themselves in dangerous situations. Drivers would suddenly lose control as their car's plastic components vanish, steering wheels dissolving in their hands, dashboards disappearing, and vital engine parts simply ceasing to exist. Planes in flight would face catastrophic failures as their plastic components disintegrate. Hospitals would descend into chaos as vital medical equipment stops working. From IV bags to protective gear to modern imaging machines. But this is just the beginning of what would become humanity's greatest challenge since the Industrial Revolution. Let's talk about what happens in those crucial first 24 hours. Your morning routine? Completely disrupted. No toothbrush. No shampoo bottle. No deodorant container. Your kitchen? The coffee maker is mostly gone, your refrigerator's internal components have vanished, and all your food storage containers have disappeared. Even your metal appliances aren't working because their internal wiring insulation and plastic components are gone. Across neighborhoods, the sound of running water would turn to silence as plastic pipes crack and fail. But that's just in your home. In hospitals worldwide, the situation would be dire. Modern medicine relies heavily on plastic, from syringes to IV bags, from surgical tools to protective equipment. Emergency rooms would be overwhelmed with injuries from car crashes and workplace accidents, but their ability to treat patients would be severely compromised. Surgeries would be postponed. Dialysis machines would stop working. Even basic sanitation would become a challenge without plastic gloves and containers. The global food supply chain would begin to break down within hours. Modern food distribution relies heavily on plastic for packaging, transportation, and storage. Supermarket shelves would quickly empty as food spoils without proper containment. The fishing industry would grind to a halt. Most modern fishing. Nets and equipment contain plastic. Agricultural machinery, with their plastic components gone, would sit idle in fields. Food waste would skyrocket as preservation becomes a challenge. The technology sector would face an unprecedented crisis. Nearly every electronic device we rely on contains plastic components. Cell phones, computers, servers, all would stop working. The internet itself would begin to fail as plastic-coated fiber optic cables disappear. Global communications would be severely disrupted just when we need them most. The financial system would face immediate challenges as credit cards vanish and ATMs stop working. Let's zoom out and look at the environmental impact. The immediate effects would seem positive. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch would vanish overnight. Microplastics would disappear from our oceans, our soil, and even our bloodstreams. Marine life would no longer mistake plastic debris for food. But the reality is more complex. Many marine organisms have adapted to use floating plastic debris as habitats. Their sudden disappearance would disrupt these adapted ecosystems. Birds that have incorporated plastic into their nests would find their homes literally falling apart. The manufacturing sector would face immediate paralysis. Assembly lines would stop as conveyor belts disappear. Tools and safety equipment would vanish. Even the machines that make our goods rely heavily on plastic parts. The auto industry would shut down. Modern cars contain up to 50% plastic by volume. The aerospace industry would be grounded. 
Commercial aircraft rely on plastic components for everything from fuel systems to interior furnishings. But humans are incredibly adaptable. Within weeks, alternative materials would begin to emerge. Glass manufacturers would run at maximum capacity to produce containers. Metal workers would be in high demand to create replacements for plastic tools and components. Traditional craftspeople who work with wood, ceramic, and natural fibers would suddenly find their skills in extremely high demand. The fashion industry would undergo a complete transformation. Synthetic fabrics like polyester, nylon, and spandex would be gone. Cotton, wool, and other natural fibers would see unprecedented demand. But this shift would create new environmental challenges. Cotton farming requires significant water and pesticides. Wool production would need to increase dramatically, leading to more livestock farming and its associated environmental impacts. Transportation would become more expensive and complex. Electric vehicles, heavily dependent on plastic components, would need to be completely redesigned. Public transportation systems would be disrupted as plastic components in buses and trains disappear. Bicycle tires and helmets would vanish, forcing changes in urban mobility. The shipping industry would need to completely rethink how goods are packaged and transported. The construction industry would face unique challenges. Modern buildings use plastic in everything from insulation to vapor barriers to electrical systems. Construction costs would soar as alternatives need to be found. But this might lead to a revival of traditional building techniques that rely on natural materials. We might see a return to lime plaster instead of plastic-based paints, wool insulation instead of synthetic materials. Let's talk about the economic impact. The disappearance of plastic would trigger a global economic crisis. Unlike anything we've seen before, industries would need massive capital investment to retool for a plastic-free world. The cost of consumer goods would skyrocket as manufacturers switch to more expensive materials. But this crisis might also create new opportunities. Companies seen twined specializing in sustainable materials would boom. Traditional crafts and repair services would see a renaissance. The medical industry would need to completely reinvent itself. Procedures we take for granted would become more complicated and expensive. But this might drive innovation in sustainable medical materials. We might see the development of new biodegradable alternatives derived from natural sources. Traditional medicine practices might see renewed interest as modern medical supplies become scarce. The energy sector wouldn't escape the impact. Solar panels, with their plastic components gone, would need redesigning. Wind turbine blades, largely made of plastic composites, would stop spinning. The transition to renewable energy would face new challenges, but it might also drive innovation in more sustainable materials. Six months into this plastic-free world, daily life would be radically different. Shopping would return to a more traditional model, with people bringing their own reusable containers made of glass or metal. Repair shops would be bustling as people fix rather than replace broken items. Cities might look different too, with more local markets and fewer large supermarkets as the logistics of food distribution without plastic becomes more challenging. The workplace would be transformed. Offices would look more like they did in the 1950s, with metal, wood, and glass predominating. Remote work would become more challenging without reliable electronics, potentially leading to a return to more in-person collaboration. But this might also strengthen local communities and reduce carbon emissions from commuting. One year after the disappearance, we'd see the emergence of a new normal. Innovation would have provided solutions to many immediate challenges. New materials would have been developed perhaps based on mycelium, cellulose, or other natural compounds. Our relationship with material goods would have fundamentally changed. We'd value durability over disposability, 
quality over quantity, but perhaps the most significant change would be in our mindset. This plastic apocalypse would force us to confront our throwaway culture. We'd become more conscious of our resource use. We'd understand the true cost of convenience. Communities might become stronger as people need to work together to solve local challenges. The environmental impact would be complex. While plastic pollution would be gone, new environmental challenges would emerge. Increased mining for metals, more intensive agriculture for natural fibers, and greater logging for paper and wood products would create their own environmental pressures. But we'd likely develop more sustainable practices, having learned from our experience with plastic. Looking even further ahead, this crisis might ultimately push humanity toward a more sustainable future. We'd develop new materials that break down naturally when disposed of. We'd design products with their entire life cycle in mind. We'd create systems that work with nature rather than against it. The disappearance of plastic would be both a catastrophe and an opportunity. It would force us to rebuild our world in a more thoughtful way. Yes, life would be more expensive and less convenient, but it might also be more sustainable and meaningful. And while this scenario is purely hypothetical, it reveals just how deeply plastic is woven into the fabric of our modern world. Next time you look around your room, try counting how many things contain plastic. It's probably more than you think. And maybe that awareness is the first step toward using this miracle material more wisely before nature forces our hand. Because while plastic might not disappear overnight, the challenges it poses to our environment aren't going anywhere. The choices we make today about how we use and dispose of plastic will shape the world for generations to come. The real question isn't just, what if all plastic disappeared? But rather, how can we build a world that doesn't need to depend so heavily on it? The answer to that question might determine our future on this planet.